On the day when I had the cardiac arrest, I was at a local working bee with Mary Stationers, weeding and having a beautiful time in the sunshine. When Susie collapsed, she was just two or three metres away from me. She was right in front of me. She'd just taken a photo. She kind of went down on one knee and pitched backwards. Basically, both Ross and I ran over to her and I think it was at that point where I was tr trying to elicit from Ross whether she was epileptic, but at the same time, you know, calling calling triple zero. She's got no pulse. She's got no pulse. Okay, so is she breathing? Uh, um, looks, no, she's not breathing anymore. Okay, I'm going to tell you. How, I'm going to tell you how to do CPR. Okay. I think the reality was it was it was only a couple of minutes that I was giving CPR until there was a responder from Good Sam. My phone made a siren noise. I had a look on the screen and accepted the request and saw that there was a crowd of people nearby. So I um, headed down that way and followed the map to where Susie um, needed assistance. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. You got, you got someone there with you? I'll never forget. There was a very special moment. It was about four minutes in and I heard a voice behind me saying, I'm a paramedic, can I help? Found out later she was responding to the Good Sam app. The CPR that Paul and Ross had provided was successful and she was breathing and she had uh, a cardiac output when, when I was there, so I rolled her into the recovery position. It was at that point about 20 seconds later that she stopped breathing again and she um, her heart stopped beating. So we rolled her back and um, commenced CPR again. When we first arrived at the scene, we saw where the patient was by the fire truck and saw a civilian doing CPR, the fire brigade managing the airway and a micro responder setting up for uh, intubation. The Good Sam responder was doing CPR and they were controlling the scene really well. Her early arrival and CPR was critical to the survival of the patient. You know, the outcome would have been very different had it not been for the quick thinking of Paul and, and his assistants, the, the assistance we got from people around. We had children, we had all sorts of things going on. <sighs> that, they will always be really, really heroes to us. I'd like to tell my community heroes that you are my heroes. I want everyone to know, I guess, and to know about the Good Sam app. And again, their quick thinking, their generosity of spirit, their skill has meant that I can be here and I can tell this story.